Hello! Welcome back to my channel. I'm Hannah Copen. I am an empowerment and body confidence coach. And today I'm going to be talking about how to teach your daughter how to love her body, how to treat her body, and how to think about her body and other people's bodies as well. So I wanted to first start this off by telling you a little story, a story about um, somebody that I know who's really close to me. I won't mention their name, but this is a true story and this is something that happened to them. So many years ago when this person was getting married for the first time, she was so excited. She was young in her 20s and she was getting married in her own parents' backyard. And she was dress shopping like you do. And she was dress shopping with her mother and her sister and I think a couple of friends. And she picked out a bunch of dresses and was trying them all on and was really nervous and scared and making sure that she wanted to be the most beautiful bride. She was so excited about this one dress. She had tried on a bunch of different dresses and none of them really fit right or none of them felt like the one. And this was her first wedding. This was an exciting time. She was in love and all she wanted was for her mother to support her. And she tried on this one last dress and she knew right when she put it on that this dress was her dress, that this dress was going to be the one that she was going to get married in for the very first time. She looked at herself in the mirror. She loved what she saw. Her sister saw her and she started to cry because she also knew that it was the one. She went around and spun a little circle and then walked out to see her mom. And her mother first took a look at her, told her to spin around. And then she said, that dress, that dress would be so much more beautiful on a thinner girl. Now this comment says a lot more about the mother than it does about the person that it was said to. But it is a sampling, a tiny sampling of what a lot, a lot, I'm talking almost every one of my clients, pretty much every woman that I know has undergone, has, has felt and has felt that either their mother or a family member, someone that's very, very close to them, someone that they adore and that they admire and that they want to please, has shot them down because of something that they didn't like about their body. Whether it's weight, underweight, overweight, didn't look right in the dress. And this is something that I feel is my personal mission to help stop. I, and, I, and I hope that you'll join me. I hope that you'll become one of the women that will teach other girls, other young children, how to treat their bodies and how to love their bodies because they are our home, no matter the size. How to talk to your daughter about her body. Step one, don't talk to your daughter about her body. Don't do it because what's that going to teach her? That her worth is in her looks, that her worth is all about what she looks like and what her appearance is. You can teach her about how her body works. That's the most important part. But don't say anything if she's lost weight and definitely don't say anything if she's gained weight. Don't make any comments about how she fits in this dress or that skirt because that's only going to be mirrored back into her soul and she's going to learn that and she's going to take that from, from what you said and going to explode it in her mind and keep going over and over and over of it. 
right? Just like that story that I told you earlier about that woman who was told that by her mom. You think that stayed with her for the rest of her life? Absolutely. So here are some things that you can say instead. You look so healthy is a really great one. Or how about, oh my gosh, how strong you are. You're getting so fit and strong. That's amazing. I'm so proud of you. Or how about, oh, I can see how happy you are just in your face by your smile. You're absolutely glowing. Better yet, Compliment her on something that's not about her looks at all. That's not about her body at all. Something like her intellect, her personality, her compassion, her kindness towards others. And it's really, really important that we show our children, that we show our daughters that we're not commenting and, and ridiculing other people's bodies either. So when you see other people, don't comment on their weight if they've lost weight or if they look amazing in that dress because they've, they've lost so much weight or if they've gained weight. Definitely don't say anything like that. Teach her instead about kindness towards others, about compassion, about acceptance. Radical acceptance is a learned behavior and if we don't teach our children that, they're not going to learn it. Don't you dare talk about how much you hate your body. If you look in the mirror and you comment about how much you hate your arms or how you hate your stomach or your legs, your, your daughter's gonna do the same to her body. Don't go on another diet in front of her. Don't go on a diet in front of anyone. <laughs> Don't go on a diet. <laughs> you know me by now, hopefully, and I think dieting is just abhorrible. I think it's absolutely atrocious and it does horrible things to our body, to our mind, to our soul. And also one thing that I would definitely suggest is don't try saying I'm not eating any carbs right now in front of your daughter. Your daughter should never think that carbs are bad. Your daughter should never think that carbs, all carbs are evil because that's shame. That's teaching her shame over what you eat. And when you teach her shame over what you eat, that only teaches her shame about herself. And I don't think you want that. I don't think any daughter wants that. And make sure that you, if you encourage exercise and you want to get your kids moving, encourage them to climb a mountain because it's rewarding and an incredible achievement. Encourage them to run a marathon or to run a race at all because it's what they want to do, because it's exhilarating. Encourage your daughter to surf or rock climb or go sailing or go snowboarding or mountain bike because it maybe scares her. And you know what? A little bit of fear and a little excitement is a good thing sometimes. But encourage her in a nice way when she's actually lit up by doing something such as soccer or rowing or hockey. If you want your kids to enjoy movement Make sure that you notice when they are on the field and when they are smiling because this will make them better leaders. This will make them a more confident woman and explain that no matter how old you get, you will never stop needing good teamwork. And teamwork is often learned in sports, team sports. But never make her play a sport that she absolutely isn't totally head over heels in love with because she will hate it. Make a promise and prove to your daughter that women don't need men to move their furniture around. Women can do that just fine. Women are strong and make sure that you set a really good example for her. Tell your daughter how to cook kale. Buy healthy foods. Cook healthy foods together. Teach your daughter how to bake a cake or bake chocolate chip cookies. And make sure that that is done with love. And you can bake cookies with a bunch of sticks of butter and that butter is okay. And it's okay to enjoy with joy. Pass on your mom's recipe for, for me. My favorite recipe in my family is kugel. And kugel is made with a 
multiple sticks of butter, tons of noodles, and eggs. <laughs> and also make sure that you make memories outside. Maybe both you and your daughter have thicker thighs or wider hips or wider rib cages. That's okay. But make sure that you still love them in front of her. They're just body parts. Tell your daughter that her, you know, with her legs, she can run a marathon if she wants to, or that her rib cage is nothing but a carrying case for strong lungs. She has that rib cage so that it carries those lungs and that she can sing and she can lift up the world if she wants to. How beautiful is that? She can lead and charge a protest with her strong legs. How beautiful is that? Remind your daughter that the best thing that she can do with her body is to use it, to mobilize her beautiful, incredible, magical soul. Don't ever forget to teach your daughter how strong she is, how powerful she is, and how incredibly, incredibly made of magic she is. And that has nothing to do with her body. It has nothing to do with her size. You can teach your, your daughter how your body works, how her body works, that's important. But make sure to separate her worth from her looks, appearance, and weight. Starting at a very young age. Because unfortunately, these patterns begin at a very young age. Okay. I hope this was helpful for you. I hope this helped you learn a few things about what we learn as young children, as young women, as young girls from our mothers, from our aunts, from our sisters, from our grandmothers, from our friends, and how to teach them how to be better, how to teach them how to love and be compassionate and kind and feel empowered in their soul and feel strong in their hearts. That is the most important message you can ever give your daughter. I'll see you next time.